Hi, this is Sean D'Souza, and you're listening to the Three Month Vacation Podcast. This podcast isn't some magic trick about how to work less. Instead, it's about how to really enjoy the work that you do and to enjoy your vacation time. Hi, it's Sean, and you're listening to the Three Month Vacation. If you give employees a bonus, will they work harder? This is the seemingly obvious question that Michael Sturman had to contend with. Sturman is a professor at Cornell's School of Hotel Administration, and he decides to find out just how much pay and performance matters. As you'd expect, he found the obvious. People who are paid above the market rate do a much better job. And this meant that if you gave a person a 1% raise, their performance would go up by at least 2%. However, when the same 1% bonus was linked to a specific task, the job performance spiked by as much as 19%. But let's do something really strange. Let's turn that statistic around. What we get from that statistic is that the employee had been working at 19% lower than their potential. When we write articles, it's easy to work way below your potential as well. Most writers feel that their potential is reached when they do fancy research or when they sit down for hours to write. And you'd be surprised to know that a lot of the potential is wasted long before you sit down to write a single word. A lot of the potential lies in those stages of preparation. So let's look at the critical elements that cause a fair bit of chaos. We have the lack of pre-work, the scarcity of input, and finally, understanding the energy requirements of writing. Those were just three points, weren't they? But we're going to take this podcast series over four episodes. And that is to reach your potential in article writing, to create all that preparatory information or the steps that you need to take you exactly to the point where you're ready to write. And to get this off the ground, let's start with the first episode, which is the lack of pre-work. The moment I sat down to write this article, I was a little lost. And I'll tell you why. I hadn't done much pre-work. I fully intended to outline it, to work out the story that was needed, and I wanted to add in all the notes. However, when it came to writing the article, I did what most writers do. I sat down at the computer, and I hoped that I'd get lucky. And luck can be pretty fickle under the best of conditions, but it seems to take special pleasure in taunting the article writer. The problem with article writing is that we don't see it as several tasks. And yet, writing an article is more like an expedition than a casual walk in the park. To get an article out, you need the story, or possibly more than one story. Then you've got to have at least one point in that story that's exceedingly curious. And here we are just talking about the opening paragraph. It's just building up that story, telling that story, finding out what's curious. And it's so easy to just get stuck at that point alone. But there's more in the article. You need to know what you're going to cover, to have case studies, to have examples. You need to understand some of the objections, the headline. And so you've got this massive list, which is, as I said, like an expedition. I've written about 50 articles a year for about 18 years. That's roughly 900 articles. This doesn't take into account course material, books, and over 100,000 posts in the forums. In short, that's a lot of writing. And you'd think that you would get really good at writing with all of this experience, right? And you do. But we're not talking about the writing at all. We're talking about the preparation. 
without the ingredients, an expert chef can make a dish relatively quickly, but there's a lot of fumbling and bumbling before that meal is ready. However, with the smallest amount of preparation, that dish, even in the hands of a newbie, can be so much better, so much tastier. Easily the most critical pre-work lies in three main areas. So let's take these areas one by one. The first area is the outline. I didn't have any outlines to write in school, so I can't share this hatred of outlines. However, on the article writing course, most clients start off with resenting the very thought of outlining. But at some point they realize the outlines that they did at school were completely different and they were terrible. And the clients realize that the outlines that you do when you're writing an article is kind of like a laundry list. It's a whole bunch of things that you have to put together. It's not the stuff that you did in school that drove you crazy. But there is so much of this resentment of outlining, or even just, let me get to the article, I have to write the article. And the outline seems like this barrier that gets in the way, that's going to take another 10, 15 minutes of work. And so it's natural to just say, let me leave this behind, let me just get straight into the article. And that's a mistake. And it's made by beginners as well as people who've been writing for years. And that's the mistake I made this morning. I sat down on my computer and I thought of myself as the expert chef. I can cook no matter what. But I still lost so much time. And that time I could have put to the outline. And it's not just the outline because there's also the notes that go with the outline. So. When you don't have all of this stuff happening, you have to work out what you're saying and you have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And after a while, you're just wasting time. You're just spinning around in circles and I can give you a dozen analogies of what happens, but essentially you're not moving forward. And now we're just talking about one element, which is that outline, that story. And that's just one of the things that you have to do when you're writing an article. So this is really this massive journey, and we are thinking of it as an article, one little walk in the park, even when you take just the headline. That headline might just be one or two lines, but having a working headline, not a perfect headline, but something that keeps the article on track. All of this is part of the preparation. In this very article, I went to check on that working headline thrice, just to make sure that I wasn't going off track. And all of this back and forth, it's kind of wasted time, it's wasted energy. If you're good at a task, usually you can wing your way through it even on really rough days. But if you're prepared, it's a whole different ballgame, isn't it? And that brings us to the end of this podcast. And you might think, well, this is a really short podcast. It's barely seven or eight minutes. And the point that I'm trying to make here is that over the years, as I've been writing, the one problem that has consistently slowed me down, consistently confused me, and I've seen this with pretty much a few hundred writers now, it's the outline. It's this stubbornness in a way that we have not to write the outline, to just get to the point. And every single time the outline helps, every single time, you know, what goes into that storyline, what, what is it all about? What is the one point that it's making? What are the objections? Can I put them in a line or two? What is the whole flow of the article? What is it saying? Why is it important? How do you get there? All of that structure, the just the gist of the article. It gives you that recipe, but without having the details of the recipe. So it's not like half teaspoon of coriander and half teaspoon of turmeric and stuff like that. It's just giving you an understanding that you need to have coriander and you need to have turmeric and you need to have chili powder and you need to have all that ready. So it seems like we haven't covered a lot in this podcast, but we have. The outline is the most crucial element 
the one thing that slows down every single writer that I've seen in my life. And without the outline, you're just going to struggle. So the one thing that you can do today is to sit down and work out what are the elements of the outline. If you were to look at the transcript of most of the podcasts, which is like a longer article, what you'd find is there is a story, and that's a very curious story. And then after that, that reconnects to the article. And then you either have it in three parts, which is I'm going to cover point one, point two, point three, which is usually what I tend to do. And under that, each of the points is like, what is this point about? Why is it important? How do you use it? What if things go wrong? So there are these sub routines running around point one. Then again, under point two, what is it? Why is it important? Etc. And then we go to point three. And then we come to the end point and we summarize everything. We put in some objections and then there is a next step. So there isn't a lot of complexity, but it still takes a lot of time. And if you just do this outline, you just write your notes, then you would have done what most article writers don't do. They just sit down and write the article. So if you want to make your New Year's resolution early, this is the time. Do that one thing, write the outline, take 10 to 15 minutes, go to the cafe. Don't sit in your office. It's very hard at the office. Get the outline done. And that brings us to the end of this podcast. Let's find out what's happening in Psychotactics Land. At the point of listening to this podcast, we will be in Houston, Texas, where we're doing the sales page course, which is over three days. Now, this is a live course, and of course, it got sold out several months ago. But we will have a home study at some point in time, probably at the end of this year, maybe early 2019. So watch out for that sales course, sales page course that's coming up shortly. What else is happening? Well, on the 26th of November, we will also be releasing very small numbers, about 35 copies of pre-sale. Last year at this point in time, I did a presentation in Australia and one of the goodies that I gave away, which took me almost a week to write, was the five stages of selling your product or your service, which is your existing product or service. Many of us have existing products, we have existing services. And what happens is these get pushed to the back burner or to the lower drawer or wherever you, the, back, the cupboard somewhere. And it's very difficult to sell the products that we wrote a year ago or we created three years ago, something like that. And this specific PDF shows you how you can take your existing products and bring it to the spotlight again. So it's a really cool book. If you want to get it, you have to go to psychotactics.com slash pre-goodies. That's P-R-E-G-O-O-D-I-E-S. So that's pre-sell. So it's pre-goodies. Psychotactics.com slash pre-goodies. Also mark your date in the calendar because that's the 26th of November. Now this episode was about outlining and there is a little book on the Psychotactics site and it's about outlines. If you want to improve your outlining, I think you'll find that book quite useful. So go to Psychotactics, look for books and products under $50 and there it will be the outline book. And I think it'll help you quite a lot. So that brings us to the end of this podcast. Thanks for listening and bye for now. Bye-bye. Still listening? Well, here's what I do whenever I'm recording a podcast. Now, this is not so much for the article, but definitely for the podcast. So I write the article and then I edit it, but then I have to take it to Grammarly because invariably I make a whole bunch of mistakes or there will be inconsistencies like something that's hyphenated in one place and not hyphenated in the other place. So I take it to Grammarly and I hate their new editor. So I go back to the default editor that they used to have. And if you don't know about the default editor and want some information on it, it's right at the bottom. There's a little question mark there and you click on it and you can go back to 
the legacy editor, which I like more. But anyway, so I go there, clean it up, and then I take it to something called text soap, and that kind of strips it of all the HTML and all the extra words. And from there, I'll cut it. And because of how Apple works, I can just paste it directly on the phone. And on the phone, I use PromSmart, which is a teleprompter. And if you're wondering why I'm telling you all of this, it's the number of stages that have to go in before it can be recorded. And this is not the recording. This is just the stages before the recording. You could call it a form of outlining all of these steps that you take beforehand. What I'm trying to say here is that even if the article is ready, even if it's ready to go, if I don't take all those stages before, I don't have the energy to go through the entire process. So it's a form of outlining and really that's the message. So I'll say bye for now and we'll see you in 5000 BC. Bye bye. <laughs>